Okay, next example. You have equations with y and x. You're going to substitute numbers in. You're going to tell her the given equation has the ordered pairs of solution. Here's how you do this. It's a yes or no, but I need to see the work shown. You're going to go back to making the eight boxes. Here's what you do. You write the equation down. Y equals 2x plus 7. And then the, the ordered pair right there. This goes in for x. This goes in for y. Line up your equals. The y is by itself. You just put the number right there. Then you come over here. Okay. And you got operations. 2 and x is times. x and 7 is plus. Now, I am going to replace the x with negative 2. So 2 times negative 2 plus 7. You do the multiplication first. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus 7. Line up the equals, put 3. Figure out what negative 4 plus 7 is. Flip out negative 4 and I go 7 to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's 3. Did I get the same number on each side? I did, so yes. Okay, next problem. Y equals negative one-fourth X plus six. Two, four. It's always X here, Y here. Put the four in for Y and don't do anything else over there. You have no operations on this side. It's all, all the operations are here. You got times and plus. So negative one-fourth times, remember parenthesize the letter when you're going to put a number in, parentheses 2 plus 6. So times comes first, I take negative 1 fourth times 2, that's negative 1 half, plus 6. So I take negative 1 half, negative 1, ABC 2 plus 6, 5 and a half. Are those the same number? No, they're not. So that's a no. Okay, next one. Y equals negative 1.2x minus 2.6. And I get decimals 3.5 and 6.8. You need to lose the Y and put 6.8. So you got times. I hate that minus. Make it plus negative. And you are going to replace the x with 3.5. So negative 1.2, 3.5, plus negative 2.6. So line up your equals. You have 6.8. You do the times first. Okay. So negative 1.2 times 3.5 is negative 4.2, plus negative 2.6. Now you're probably going to want your calculator because the number line doesn't work with decimals. Okay. This is a no. That's positive 6.8. That's negative. That's a no. Okay. That is not a solution to the equation. They have to equal out. Y equals 4x. Okay. I've got 3, 10. That's x. That's y. Line up your equals, you just put a 10 there, and over here you got 4 times x. So you are putting a number in for x, which is why I put the parentheses. If I don't have a number to put in for x, that's when I don't put it, but 3 goes in for x. I think you guys know this is a no, because we have 10 on this side, 4 times 3 is 12. That's a no. Okay, y is equal to x minus 2. Okay, you got 5, 3. 3 replaces the Y. And I don't have a, you don't need to put the 1 in front of the X, because I know what I'm putting in for X. It's 5, okay? I mean, you can put it in parentheses, but it's 5 minus 2, so it's just a minus plus negative operation. Or minus, I mean, 5 minus 2 is probably easier, it's 3. 5 plus negative 2 is 3, 2, you go 3, 2 to the left. That's a yes. 
Okay, next one. This one can throw you for a loop. There's one like it on number five, so you pay attention right here. Okay. It's flipped around. Actually, when they flip it on you, put the Y first. You can interchange them. Instead of negative X equals Y, just rewrite it with the Y in front of the equals, then negative X. You can change an equation just like that. It's not hard. Okay, negative 2.6 and 2.6. So now I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm more comfortable with the Y because that's the way the, all the other ones were. You just change it 2.6 in for Y. Okay, there's really no operations. I just put a negative and replace my X with a negative 2.6. What happens when you have a double negative in front? It goes into a positive. So they're both 2.6's. That's a yes. So if you have a negative, you're going to put a negative. That's a double negative. Double whammy goes plus plus. Okay, y is equal to x minus 4 fifths. So you have 3 and 2 and 2 fifths. The y is replaced with 2 and 2 fifths. The X is replaced with 3, and your mi operations of minus, so parentheses, 3 plus negative 4 over 5. So there's no multiplication, just the plus negative or the minus, okay, 2 and 2 fifths, that drops down. 3 plus negative 4, ABC 5, 2 and 1 fifth. They're not the same, that's a no. Last problem, y equals negative x plus 3, and I have 2 and 1. x, y, it's like the alphabet. Okay. Put 1 in for y, parenthesize that x, you have a plus, okay. so a negative, and you're going to put 2 in. You will not make, it's not doesn't become a positive, okay, because it's just the one negative in front, plus a 3. So there's no times, just a negative 2 plus a 3. Well, if I'm at negative 2 on a number line and I add 3, 1, 2, 3, it takes me to 1. That's the same number. That's a yes.